The Puffco Peak Pro 3D Chamber Chaz Removal Tutorial. Let's get into it. Now the reason behind the Chaz is mostly because of high temperatures or sensitive product that you need to have at lower temperatures. Either way, you probably need to swab sooner. But let's get past what you could have done now. What we're going to do is something a little bit controversial, but we're going to take some water. Distilled water if you want to be extremely careful, but regular water is just fine. That's what I'm using. And from there, throwing some of that into your chamber without anything in there other than the water while performing a heat cycle. Make sure to swab any remnant Chaz that has been been removed but still inside the chamber this will help just get all of it gone faster temperature doesn't matter the water will bubble and as it bubbles all of the chaz scarring on the walls of the 3d chamber will be removed slowly you might have to do this three or four times in total taking a look after our first cleaning you're seeing that it is coming off like janet jackson's top from the 2004 super bowl here we go for a round two of bubbly water in the 3d chamber it will be taking off some more chaz as you can see and we'll do a check now we got the main bit of chaz scarring removed we have to get those little remnants bits more water for the last little bits of chaz you'll want to do a quick hot swab to remove the last bits of chaz that remain on your 3d chamber since we've already gone this far with cleaning it we might as well take the last step and remove the silicone top ceramic spacer cover and give that top ceramic spacer some deep cleaning with some heat and some water honestly i was pretty surprised myself but after doing some heat cleaning swabbing i found a whole bunch of reclaim that has been building up within the chamber you could also do an iso soaking we have a tutorial going through that separately but in general General. Might as well do this while you're at it. Now throughout the process you might get a white and red ambulance light. You can just double tap the button again. It should work. Also we have another tutorial. If you're having some pin connection issues, feel free to check those out. Last step before you're good to go is evaporating any leftover remnants of water that are in the chamber as well as on the pro base pin connector. Because there's most likely reclaim left over in the chamber when you're doing the water bubble, there will be a little bit of oil on the bottom of your base pin connector. So I'd recommend some isopropyl swabbing with some q-tips because as you can see it's kind of getting pulled out and I'm getting some threads left behind. After making sure that all the water has been removed from your base pin connector, you're going to screw in your chamber and give it a heat cleaning for evaporating all of the water that's still on the inside of your 3D chamber housing. But there is also a second option if you don't want to connect your atomizer while it still has some water remnants and you want to evaporate it without having any electrical go through it. And for this, you're either going to need a heat gun or blow dryer. Either one will work. Basically, what you're going to do is just heat up your 3D chamber while it's not connected, while it's on some surface that isn't going to melt and from there you'll have your chamber dry without having any electrical going through it not like there was any problem when i did it but if people feel uneasy this is another way that you could go about it and the verdict is pearly white looking good ready to go don't forget to like this video subscribe to the channel become a member get a puffco emoji next to your name in our live streams and beyond that come check out the show tuesday thursdays starting at 7 10 central every week other than the summer which will switch to Wednesdays but that's okay because everyone should get outside get that sun and that vitamin D but beyond all that thanks for checking out this video we'll catch you guys in the next one stay elevated and peace out